All right, welcome back, fellow Pogoers. Let's go ahead and jump right into these series of ranked battles. So we're gonna lead with a Mel Metal versus Mel Mel lead, and then we're just gonna keep training our Thunder Shocks here. I go for the superpower, and then I believe I anticipate going for a switch here because it was gonna shield or take it. I'm bringing the Giratina because I knew that I was gonna be able to have him take down the Mel Metal, and also preserve the Mel my Mel Metal for future switch-ins but yeah so i go for a shadow sneak he goes for a rock slide and then we just keep this uh little banter back and forth yep here comes my shadow sneak and then he goes for his rock slide and then i shield up and he goes for a that's right you guess it another rock slide all right but yeah of course he saves his mel metal and brings in a mewtwo so that gives me an opportunity to go for some more shadow sneak spam and it's going to be another exchange over and over again right here too. Yeah, he goes for a side strike, I opt to shield it because I wanted to reserve my Giratina because I thought that he would be able to take it down. But yeah, um, after that I bring in the Mel Metal and then switch over to the Rock Slide Spam instead of Shadow Claw Spam. But yeah, Rock Slide will take out the Mewtwo right there and then of course he switches in and then I go for a superpower, and then I believe I wanted to swap over here because I didn't want to leave my Mel Metal open. Oh, before I did that though, I built up towards a rock slide. And then I tried to switch over to uh, Togekiss because I was gonna anticipate a frenzy plant, but I switched too early and then he saw it, so he went for a sludge bomb there. And I was able to take my Togekiss out. So didn't leave me with much of an option, but either way, can't win them all. And it was the first set of the day. But yeah, obviously it was a loss, and usually that's how the first game ends because it's a warm-up. Yeah, props to him. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next match. Yeah, here we have Melmetal versus Snorlax. But yeah, I build up my energy here, but then he swaps, and I waited for him to swap. So I go for the Rock Slide, and then afterwards I switch to Togekiss because I thought that I can take out the Giratina with my Togekiss and then save my Giratina for whatever comes next. But yeah, not much to it, just use some charm damage to take him down. And then he switches over to Snorlax. Snorlax is gonna take out my Togekiss here because I believe I wanted to save my shields since Togekiss serves its purpose. But yeah, I go for a rock slide to bait a shield here, and then he takes the bait. So I farm up some energy for a while, and then I go for a double superpower. So yeah, here's superpower one. And then I shield up. And then we go for superpower. Oh, I believe I swapped over just to preserve it. Yep, yeah, and then here comes the Dragon Claw. Yeah, going for the Dragon Claw spam right here. And then he switches over to a Togekiss. But yeah, I was able to make the most of it. I just went ahead and pressured the Togekiss by doing some Shadow Sneak spams until Giratina went down. But yep, and then of course um, I go for the shield here because he goes for an Ancient Power and I want to try to preserve my Mel Metal's health. And then in turn I go for a Rock Slide onto the Togekiss. Takes it out no problem. And then I had enough energy saved to be able to do a Super Power as soon as the Snorlax goes in so he does get a Body Slam for the finish. All right, so now next opponent in this set, we have a Empoleon. I believe I opted to either stay in or go for a superpower and then switch. And then what did we go with? We went with uh, staying in, soaking in that Hydro Cannon, and then baiting a shield here. And then of course I baited the shield no problem. Go for a superpower because he thought I was gonna go for that, which he didn't shield. That went fantastically. Force a switch into a Clefable. And of course, when you have a Giratina versus a Clefable, you only have one option, especially with the Arc Ancient Power Nerf. You can just keep going for Shadow Claw Spam and Shadow Sneak until your Giratina goes down. I lost track of how many I did there. Oh, and then of course I tabbed out. GG on that end. All right, so next up, Giratina goes down there, and then I switch over to the Melmetal, go for some Rock Slide shenanigans right here. 
And then I believe I tried to go for another Rock Slide, but it wasn't enough. So then here we have the Togekiss. And then the Empoleon goes down. And then... Oh, he tried to switch over to the Empoleon to still get Charge Attack, but it wasn't enough. Bit PB goes for a... Uh... Oh, I barely survived that. Bit. I shield the wrong thing, went for a Sludge Bomb, survived the Sludge Bomb. Go for an Air Lace, then I was able to narrowly get this win. Okay, so now we're on to the next battle in the set. It's Articuno versus Melmetal. Perfect matchup. It forces him to switch, but I opted to stay in to lower his health just a little bit. But yep, there's a rock slide, baiting the first shield. Right, and then, of course, I shield the first Dark Pulse, then switch over to Togekiss. And then I believe I don't shield because I thought he was going to go for a Dark Pulse, which backfired. Oh yeah, now I decide who to send in. I send in Melmetal again because that way I can at least uh, use him as a pivot. But that I know I can easily uh, take him down with some Rock Slide spam. He goes for a Dark Pulse, brings me down to half health. And then in turn, we go for some more Rock Slides. Then he switches over to Cresselia, which was a perfect switch in for me. Because then I can bring in Giratina and then go for consistent amounts of uh, Shadow Sneak, Shadow Claw spam until the Cresselia goes down. I gotta hand it to him though. I like the shiny Cresselia. I have a perfect one as well myself, so I know how hard it is to find like a good Cresselia. Anyway, I'm able to take his down, and then I didn't want to switch in yet because I wanted to make sure that I soak an Icy Wind because I did not want Melmetal to take an Icy Wind attack stat drop. So I let Giratina go down here, bring in the Melmetal to close out the set, then go for a Rock Slide onto the Articuno, and of course he has no shields left so he had to take that. And then after that I use my shield here to protect myself against the Muck, and then finish it off with a Superpower because obviously that was ready first and I don't need to use Rock Slide. And then what do we have next? Alright, so this is the final one in the set, if I'm not mistaken. Again, it's another Articuno lead, and instead of switching right away, this one chose to stay in. But I knew he was going to swap, so I just saved my energy. He goes for the Gardevoir, and in turn, I go for Shadow Seek Spam. But I knew it was going to be a one-on-one -on -one setup, so I shield the Synchronoise because I wanted to take his Gardevoir out with my Giratina. And it was just enough to nearly take him out. And then here he brings in his Giratina, but then I can bring in my Togekiss. Hopefully it baits a shield if I remember. Yep, yeah, it baits a switch at least, so now I can safely move over to Melmetal and then Togekiss and clean up on his Giratina. But he goes for an Icy Wind. And then I answer back with a uh, minus one attack stat drop onto the Articuno, but thankfully I'm able to still take him out, but before I could finish the set, he forfeited. So that's it for set one. We went four and one on this set. So yep, now we're on to the next set. This is set two for the day. Actually, I believe this is set three. I got rid of set two because I wanted to keep this to 30 minutes, or roughly 30 minutes. So yeah, it's Bill Metal versus Venusaur. And then this is also my favorite set too because it had two shinies and sword and shield that popped up. I'll show you what they are eventually. But anyway, we had Venusaur versus Melmetal. I opted to switch into Giratina. Actually, I didn't really notice who it was. But anyway, right now it's Giratina versus Venusaur. I believe he swapped into the Venusaur and I thought this was my chance to take out his Venusaur so that Togekiss could safely switch in. But yeah, Giratina is able to take out the Venusaur. Then I had enough energy pool up to take in... Oh, that's what it was. He led with Togekiss. And then I had enough energy pool up to get a Shadow Sneak on his Togekiss. And then thus bring in Melmetal and go for a Rock Slide on his Togekiss. And then be able to farm it down the rest of the way. So now I have full energy for his Muck, which was his third choice. Then I believe I go pull up some energy, and then I switch over to a Togekiss afterwards, because I wanted to preserve a little bit of my Melmetal. Then I have uh, full shields as well. So he goes for Dark Pulse, I build up some energy, and then I wait for the right time to switch to Togekiss. 
I believe it's right here because I went for a superpower. Then he shields, but then of course he was able to get off a charge move before I could switch. So I soak it, build up some energy, switch over to Togekiss at the right time because I wanted to time it so that he went for a Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse gets off and then Togekiss is able to tank it. He forfeits because he knew that I had him. And then of course this is where the first shiny popped up for in uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. I was waiting for the raid to go up, but it was Clefable versus Melmetal. Set up a Rock Slide, then go for another Rock Slide, and then this is where we changed the stream because I was like, "Oh my God, it's a shiny Mimikyu!" So I changed over. But yeah, the shiny Mimikyu in Pokemon Shield. But then here we are. I almost thought I was gonna lose this match because I was too focused on getting the shiny. But anyways, Melmetal versus Clefable. He was able to take me out because I got too distracted by the shiny. But I was able to clean up his Clefable with my Giratina. And then go for a Dragon Claw onto his Giratina. It was Giratina versus Giratina from here on out. And I believe I was at a good energy deficit or surplus. But yeah, I go for some more Dragon Claw spam. And then he was able to get his first Dragon Claw off. So I knew that I had to shield it. And then I went and answered back with my Dragon Claw. And then he shields it, so I thought if he shields it, I can just switch over to Togekiss. He brings in Swampert, but I knew that I could survive two Hydro Cannons, so I kept the Togekiss going, shielded his first Hydro Cannon, and knew that, I knew that I could survive the rest. I go for an Air Lace onto Swampert, he's going to go for one Hydro Cannon, and then with that kind of health left and his energy gains, I knew I could finish him off before he can get another Hydro Cannon off. Brings in the Giratina, and then down goes the Giratina. Oh yeah, and then here we just take a moment to pause and focus on finishing the raid. Yeah, let's see where we're at. Alright, yep, I brought shiny Melmetal to go with the raid. And it looks like uh, the main thing that was Dynamax was... What is that? Um... I can't remember his name. I'm starting to forget all these names because I'm just getting older. Or maybe just life's getting too busy. Besides the point, we get the Mimikyu down. I throw a repeat ball because I didn't want to risk losing this catch. Got one shake, two shakes, three shakes. And caught the Mimikyu. Oh well, yep, yeah, that was our first shiny for the day, doing raids. But yeah, just to reiterate, the Mimikyu had zero in speed, so it turns out that this Mimikyu was designed to be a Trick Room Mimikyu. And that's what I'm going to go with for it. Back to the battles, we have a Melmetal versus Lucario lead. Um, I knew that if I stayed in, my Melmetal was going to go down. So I let him pull up to get a Power Up Punch, and then I answer back with a Super Power to force a Shield. But yeah, this is my first time going against Lucario, so typically I didn't think that they were going to switch. But yeah, I answer back with a Shadow Sneak. And then that gets off that lands on his Lucario. Here I opted not to shield because I thought he was going to go for another power of punch, but he goes for Shadow Ball and then that pretty much costed me the match. But overall you can see how this plays out. I go for a Shadow Sneak because I was too distracted by the fact that he threw me off with that Shadow Ball. And then instead I chose to swap out. Actually no, the Giratina went down. So I chose to switch into Melmetal and then preserve the Melmetal. Switched over to Togekiss because I was going to soak the Dark Pulse, and then we have Togekiss farm it all the way down. And then I answered back by shielding because I thought he was going to go for a poison move, which he did. It was Gunk Shot. Then he made a hard switch over to his Swampert. I go for Aerial Ace and then told myself that I should be able to survive this Hydro Cannon. And I just kept going for the Charm Spam, but unfortunately he got another Hydro Cannon launched. And then that's when I knew that that was it for this game. I knew I could at least get the rock slide going for this, but I wasn't going to have enough energy to close out against a one shield uh, race. Uh, because I chose not to shield the Shadow Ball. But yeah, overall, that was a forfeit. I gave up. So now we have moved on to the next battle. It's Melmetal versus Shift Tree, and then of course I go for some Rock Slides. But I believe I go for one more Rock Slide to bait a shield here. Yeah. 
I knew it was gonna be the shield, so if he shielded, I was gonna switch over to Togekiss. He shielded, so I timed it so that I could take him out and force a switch, but then he switches over to Registeel. If I'm not mistaken, I think I let the Togekiss just fall here. Yeah, I did. But I just nearly survived. I thought I was gonna force a shield here, but unfortunately, he still did not shield, so I was just gonna allow myself to let the Togekiss go down. But he wanted to burn his charge move on a flash cannon, so we went ahead and let that happen. And then I bring in Giratina because I knew that he could tank a flash cannon. And then farm his Registeel down the rest of the way. Then in comes the Shift Tree. I was anticipating the switch in, so I went ahead and went for the Dragon Claw. And then out comes his final reveal. It was a Mewtwo. So yeah, with the Mewtwo, we went ahead and just farmed him down. Build up some energy, switch the Mel Metal to soak an attack. There was a side strike, so we in turn answer back with soaking it with a Mel Metal. And then I go for some Rock Slide spams. So, thankfully, I was able to get another Rock Slide going here, which was just fantastic on my end. And then I brought in Giratina. I was anticipating a side strike on the switch, so I saved my shield for that. And then finish off with a Shadow Claw for the win on this set on this first match of the set. All right, now for the next set, we have match. We have uh, Gyarados versus Melmetal. Obviously, he had the advantage there, so he switched over to uh, Charizard. But then I knew that I was gonna bait a shield, so I went for the shield, then he switched. I switched to Giratina to counter his Charizard. And then in comes Giratina, like I said. And then, oh, look to our left. This is our second shiny. So again, I had better control of the transition here. But it was a shiny Eevee. So, we continue the matchup over here. It's Charizard versus Giratina. I was able to bait another shield out on that Charizard. But then I go for another Dragon Claw, but I didn't predict the switch because I was too distracted with another shiny. And then, so because I had a delayed switch, I switch over to Melmetal. He goes for a Surf. Melmetal goes for Rock Slide because he wasn't going to be able to shield any of these Rock Slides. And then after that, I'm able to use my first shield here because, I mean, Surf doesn't really hit that hard. But yeah, Melmetal goes for another Rock Slide, and then that's enough to take out the Lapras. And then finally, in comes the Charizard. I knew that I was going to need to preserve my Melmetal here, so I went for the shield. And then, for some reason, I swapped at the perfect time here. This is Gyarados with Dragon Breath. Um, I was able to swap into a perfect counter. As, yeah, he does that and then surprises me with a Hydro Pump. But instead, I opt to bring in Giratina to clean up on the Gyarados. And then that's enough to take out the Gyarados. He switches over to Charizard to be farming down the rest of the way. But I had enough energy saved up for a Rock Slide on this Charizard. And then that was just enough to take it out. Oh, yep, that was another victory. And then that was 4 uh, 1 on another set. And then here we finish off. Here. One, two, three shakes. Four shakes, caught it, and then that was uh, another shiny for the day. Second shiny. It was a sh Eevee. It had run away, so it's probably going to be like a Voltor, Vol Jolteon, Flareon, Vaporeon. I don't know which one I'm going to use it for, but we're going to find out as we go. And not only that, but I was able to hit rank 9 on this set. So there we go. I'm officially back in the rank 9 club, and then we are just going to continue going and push our rank 10. So let's move on to the next set right here, Mr. Isley versus Clefable, and then let's get this going. Here I was just waiting to see if he was going to switch because um, normally Melmetal has an advantage against Clefable, but since he probably felt cocky because it was like a best friend Clefable, he probably thought he could farm me down. But then there's the switch finally, so I anticipate the switch, I switch to Giratina because Giratina is able to wall most of his attack except for Bun Bomb. But with counter, obviously it's going to put me at a surplus as far as hitting him neutrally while he hits me for like weak damage on a counter with Mud Bomb. But yeah, we just exchange charge moves. He goes for counter Mud Bomb. I go for a Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak. And then here I opt to pull some energy to get ready for a switch in. I shield here to preserve my uh, fully charged Giratina. But then I didn't anticipate that he was going to switch. Oh, I did anticipate that. So I had enough Shadow Sneak saved up to be able to pressure the Clefable. 
but then he burned his last shield. I go for Giratina and then use a rock slide to take out his Fable. Then in comes Giratina. And since I have my Giratina left, I opted to have my Melmetal do as much as he can and then switch into Giratina to soak his charge attack, which was enough to take Giratina out and surprise him with Togekiss. And then of course, all he has left to answer with is either Shadow Sneak or Ancient Power. There's a Shadow Sneak. And he forfeits before we get finished the set. Alright, let's move on to the next match. Now it's Mel Metal versus Giratina. Overall, this is a neutral matchup. So I decide to keep it my Giratina or my Mel Metal until I get his Giratina to a no low enough health range to swap into the Togekiss and farm it down with charm damage. But um Overall, I think I choose to stay in all the way because he has Shadow Claw and Dragon Claw. We'll see what we decide here. But yeah, Melmetal going again for the pressure, and then he goes for a Dragon Claw again. I shield it to preserve my Melmetal, and then switch over to the Togekiss to soak the next Dragon Claw. But since I swapped in when he did a Dragon Claw, he gets it gives him time to switch into a counter. But his counter is a Swampert, so I choose to stay in here. Obviously, I only have one choice to stay in here. But then it's Swampert versus Togekiss, and we both have shields, so I have enough energy and enough health to be able to farm down the Swampert, which takes it down. Then it's Togekiss versus Togekiss. I tried to race towards my Aerial Ace, but it wasn't enough, so sacrifice the Togekiss, take down the... Togekiss with Rock Slide, but then with Shields, and then we swap at the same time. So now it's Giratina versus Giratina. And then I go for a Dragon Claw here, but I want to pull up my energy to have enough for the Togekiss when it swaps in, so that I could try to do as much Shadow Sneak damage as I can before my Giratina goes down. Yep, he goes for the Charge damage, but then, or the Charm damage, but he was also able to launch an Ancient Power, which was enough to take me out. But I go ahead and answer back with my Mel Metal to take out the Togekiss for the win. Alright, so now we move on to the next battle. We're up against a Mel Metal versus Mewtwo. Me and I were both facing a little bit of lag here at the start, but you know, just gotta keep tapping because it'll all catch up eventually. We have this Mel Metal versus Mewtwo. I was anticipating a dynamic punch, so I got ready to switch, but I didn't get the switch in time, so I shielded to preserve my Mel Metal. He goes for Side Strike, and then since he went for Side Strike, I just opted to keep my Mel Metal in, but I figured he was going to go for a dynamic punch here finally, so I burned my second shield. And then I bring in Giratina to whittle down the Mewtwo. He brings in a Red Seal, but since I had an RNG surplus, I was able to front load my Shadow Sneaks onto this Red Seal, thinking that I can get a huge chunk of its health down before I have to switch back over to the Mel Metal. And overall, it's going to be a nice quick exchange of the same moves over and over. I'm doing Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak. He's going for Lock On and Flash Cannon. And then it's just a race to see who can take who down first. Alright. And I believe I just had enough to narrowly survive here. And I probably. Yep, I was able to go down first. And then he goes for. Uh... Focus Blast. Oh, it was actually a Flash Cannon. He should have went for a Focus Blast, but he opted not to. So I go ahead and answer back with keeping my Metal Metal alive. But then I hit a Rock Slide, take him out with chip damage from Charm. And then finally he reveals his Articuno, which I thought was fantastic. So I go for an Aerial Ace here to bait a shield. And then I let him take me out since I didn't have a choice. And I'd rather bring in my Metal Metal sooner than later. So yeah, Mel Metal gets the Rock Slide, and it's enough to take down the Articudo. Alright, now it's for the next match. Mel Metal versus Mewtwo. It's the same setup again. Um, I go for Thundershock and Rock Slide. He's most likely going to go for a Dynamic Punch. But I just try to pick the right time to switch in. But then instead, he switches to Lucario. So I predict the power up punch here, which was exactly what happened. And then after this, I try to chop down his health as much as I could. And then I bring him down to the low range, so I thought a Shadow Ball was going to happen again because we didn't want to repeat earlier. 
but instead he went for a power up punch better safe than sorry and then he just forfeits because I was able to take out his Lucario Right, so now we have another matchup. Um, it's Swamp Hurt versus Melmetal. I knew it was at a disadvantage here, so I was gonna go for a superpower and then swap afterwards just to either force a shield or put some chip damage in. I bring in Giratina, he brings in Clefable, so that leaves me with the option of taking as much health away from this Clefable as I can. So I go for Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak, while they opt for spamming Charm on my Giratina. But then, obviously I knew that was going to go down, so before I could go down, I just did a Dragon Claw, good, so it was better than doing no damage at all. And then bring in the Giratina to finish off the damage. This charge move was going to be resisted no matter what, so I just let the tech go through. And then I try to farm down his uh, the Fable as much as I could. And then I anticipated a Hydro Cannon here, so I shielded, went for a superpower because I was going to swap again here over to Togekiss. And then here comes another Hydro Cannon. I just let it go through because I thought that I could chip it, absorb it. And then he switches to his final reveal, which was a Registeel. And then this one, I believe I chose the shield because I wanted to launch a Flamethrower before the Togekiss went down. So then in comes the Flamethrower, and then I try to chip as much health as I can before the Togekiss goes down to a Flash Cannon. There's the Flash Cannon, and then I pull up as much energy as I can before he releases his Flash Cannon, I believe. Here comes the Super Power, which was a dumb idea, but it was my only option. So I go for another Super Power, and then finish off with, you guessed it, a Super Power, but I was not able to launch that one in time, so he answers back with a Hydro Cannon for their win. Good game. Still trying to be sportsman about it. Sporty about it. But yeah, as for this last set, I just uh, recorded, let the last four go through. Because um, we're getting close to the 30 minute mark and I didn't want to keep everyone around for too long. Anyway, it's Bell Metal versus Registeel. I bait the shield, which went through. And then after that, he switches to Lucario, so I switch over to Giratina because Giratina versus Lucario. Giratina always wins because of Shadow Sneak. And then, since he went for a power up punch, I predicted a shadow ball here, so I shielded. And then I predicted correctly because there's a shadow ball. And then I just allowed myself to farm him down because he wouldn't have enough energy to get another shadow ball off. Thus, instead of having enough to take out on his switch in, he switches to Muck. And then I answer back with a Shadow Claw, Dragon Claw spam until I either had enough time to switch or timed it perfectly to absorb an attack. But yeah, I go for a Dragon Claw. And then he just kept going in because he was trying to pull up his energy with his monk. So I just went with it. And then I anticipated the switch here to try to time a Dark Pulse. And then I bring in Togekiss. He soaks the Dark Pulse. And then I believe I sacrifice. Nope, I stay in here because for whatever reason I was able to switch back. Oh, that's because the Giratina went down. That's why. We have Togekiss. And then... I soak the flash cannon with a shield, switch over to Melmetal, he goes for the focus blast, which was just enough to take me out. But then I'm able to answer back with a flamethrower. And then he brings out Muck, and then I'm able to narrowly escape with a win. But yeah, that was a clutch finish. Alright, so now we're on to our last game for this set. He leads with the Gyarados, and then I bring lead with uh Melmetal, then he switches over to Charizard, so I switch over to Giratina, and then Giratina is going to pressure down Charizard with Dragon Claw spam, they're going to answer the same thing as well, and then of course he's going to go for a, you guessed it, Dragon Claw. Oh, we have a G-Max Charizard in the background, that's a suitable way to finish this. But yeah, Dragon Claw versus Charizard Dragon Claw. Of course, uh, Giratina has the advantage here. He's just going to go ahead and farm down the rest of the way. He switches to an Earth Searing. And then I'm going to be able to sacrifice my Giratina, but I get one more Dragon Claw beforehand. So he brings in his... I bring in my Togekiss. He goes for a close combat, so I predicted a switch. So I get ready to switch. And then, of course, he forfeits. But yep, that's all for today's videos. 
Uh, if you like the content, we also stream on Twitch from 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time all the way until we complete our 25 battles in Pokemon Go. If you want to see more content or you want to request a different like, uh, Pokemon to focus on the Battle Leagues, then just feel free to leave a comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more footage. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.